yeah, you'd think that the that the more natural baits, you know, I'm you know minnow baits this time of year, you've got a good fresh. Uh, oh, there was a hit. There was a hit right there. Big fish. Nice fish. This one is. Whoa! Look at him take. Look at him take it. He's coming up. He's coming up. That's quite a fish. That is quite a fish. Well, welcome to DonAlfin.com. Today we're doing a follow-up with um, a drop shot video that I did a few weeks ago at Deer Creek. I'm here with my friend Mike uh, Tavell, and we're at uh, Starvation Reservoir fishing uh, drop shots for uh, smallmouth bass. And this particular baby just came up and and uh, and took. If you look at the finder down there, that fish was right there where the eight is, and. Um, and, and it took a nice little drop shot worm, and we're just getting him ready to go. Look at this three pounder. Wow. Look at that fish. Isn't that awesome? Anyway, I'll probably have to, you'll probably not be able to see it. I'm just gonna try to get it off without too much to do about anything, but there it is. Nice fish, beautiful. That's, that's what you can catch with a nice little drop shot, Mike. <laughs> How's that? You catch bigger than six inches? bigger than six inches and look what he did top of the mouth which means that they're feeding so no question that that's a fine fine fish that's my setup the hook is above the the weight by about 18 inches I'm just using a little minnow shaped um, Berkeley uh, bait that looks like a minnow and that's it so there's a there's the first three pounder of the day Beautiful fish. <laughs> yep that's great there's a fish coming down to look at me down there. You can see it on the screen. It just headed right down to take, take a look at my bait. Hoping it'll want to bite. Now when I tell you to leave the, the weight on the, drop, on the, on the, the, the bottom, I don't mean 100% of the time because sometimes you check, you have to check to see if you've got a fish playing around with it. And so there are times when you just slowly, slowly, slowly lift that up. That's a little fish, that's a baby. That's, that's your size fish right there. But you lift it up just slowly to see if you've got something playing around with your, with your bait. And uh, so you might pop that uh, weight off of the, the bottom by maybe two or three inches. Now see, if you hold it up this close to the camera, maybe that'll look big. <laughs> but there are other there are other fish down there, Mike. Right now, I just see I see a bunch that are that one that one uh, I saw on the finder, and he came down to the bottom to get my fish or get my uh, little minnow. So I'm thinking that we're we've got more than just one or two fish active in the area Any more activity? Well, I see one just came on the screen that looks like it's a little worm down there running around. Not the biggest mark we've seen, but we might be coming into a few. There he goes, and I got him, but he's another small one. Yep, there we go. That's a keeper, that's a 12-incher, but that's all. That's good, that's, that's fun to see.
they're really predictable right now. If you look down at that finder, there's another one just right there on the screen. If I can get right down to it, I'll bet you he'll bite. As soon as we got over here close to this point, there's a fish. Let's see what that one does. Any size? Oh, ho, ho, ho. that looks like a good one. Just right off the, off the edge of this point, we're in uh, 13 feet of water. I did one of those little flip casts. It's not a huge one, but it's a, it's a good keeper and very strong. Oh yeah, that's a nice fish. We're not gonna complain about that. That's close to two pounds, the way it's, it's like a football, built like a football. Top of the top of the mouth, he really wanted that. The worst way, what a beautiful fish. Well, aren't those smallies just gorgeous? Awesome fish. They fight like chickens. Fight per square inch more than anything I've done except in the ocean. Did he come on that uh, crank again? No, the Ned Rig. Oh, the Ned Rig. Yeah, that's a good fish. Get it up in here. You bet. Okay. Good job. There we go. There's a fish. It's probably not a big one, but it's a, it's, uh, yeah, it's one of those little, hey, did you just send me that fish? That's the size fish you've been catching. Yeah. Oh, that's fun. So, so all that's happening is we're just finding fish on the finder and we're trying to find them actually uh, by looking for perch, looking for bait fish. Then we see them on the finder and then just drop right down to them just like we've been doing uh, at other times during the day. Yeah, Got him? Yeah, him On the drop shot? Yeah. Fantastic. Good job, good job, good job. Yeah, bring that over here so it's not in the sun when you see it. Oh, that's a keeper. Another little keeper, nice job. Came on the shad shape worm? Yep. Good. Green pumpkin, fantastic. When they eat it, they want it. They're not just playing around with it, they want it.
What, you got another one? No, the sink turned. Oh, you about fell off the boat. I almost fell off. I've done that before. I haven't fallen off the boat, but I've had the seat turn. Got him? Yep. Good. Hey, if he looks looks a little bit okay. Yeah. <laughs> Good fish. Can't even see it yet, Mike. Hey, I got one too. We got a double. We got a double. We have a double. Mine's easy. Just came off. Oh, do ya? It's an awful good fish. Oh, yeah. There you go. Nice job. On a drop shot. Michael, nice job, sir. I've seen it now, so it's legal. Good job. Just, uh, if you want to, just grab it by the belly and it won't fight you. Just go up underneath it and grab it by the belly and bring it in. There he is. Oh my goodness, look at that fish. There you go. Good job, Michael. Excellent job. Look at how look at how well hooked that was. That's a nice, nice small one. There we go. That's a decent fish. Well, let's see if I can get this one in. Doesn't feel too big, but it's a, I think it's probably a keeper. And the wind's a little bit bad. I'm gonna just pull this baby in. This is a good fish. <clears throat> well, this has been a really, really fun day. Mike, has it been a fun day? Oh, excellent. Had a great day. Uh, notice in the top of the mouth again. These are nice fish. Um, just uh, trying to solidify the tutorial on on uh, uh, fishing with a drop shot and um, I don't know I guess we've caught maybe a, a dozen fish in the pound and a half to uh, three pound class yep. and uh, then then probably another two dozen in the six to ten inch class <laughs> so we've had it we've had a really good day let's just let this one go now <clears throat> what I want to let you know is that we are, um, or what I'm using, I, I'm a Sunline guy. I use Sunline fluorocarbon line as a leader. And, um, and uh, I'm using uh, Sunline SX2 braid, excuse me, SX1, not 2, SX, SX1 braid in the 10-pound um, class. And, um, and then I've got a little uh, Aaron Martin's drop shot hook. And uh, I think it's a number two. I'm not positive, but it doesn't matter. It's 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 you can tell when you when you look at them. Any any nice little drop shot hook that doesn't uh, require a lot of uh, you know a really really big hook. It's a it's a smaller hook, but it does hook up really well. And then the weight is a tungsten weight. I, this happens to be a three eighths ounce, and I use as little as one sixteenth ounce. I go up to half to half uh, ounce uh, on occasion. And, um, and what dictates that is just simply the, the amount of wind. And uh, this happens to be a congee um, tungsten bait. Um, 
and uh, but you can get them. Strike King has them, and uh, Sportsman's Warehouse carry them. So make sure that you uh, that you uh, take a look at drop shotting. It's a fun, fun, fun way to catch some fish, both pan fish and really good fish. So thanks again for watching. Subscribe to the channel, and uh, we'll see you next time.